Okay, so this is once again one of those examples that guides us step by step through the process of simplifying uh, a trigonometric ratio with a certain angle. This time the angle that I find inside that trig ratio is a negative co well negative angle that is made with the y axis. So we know we're using cos and sine as co-ratios of each other. So uh, first of all we ask ourselves in which quadrant does the angle and that's now referring to that angle negative 700 uh, 270 plus beta lie. So again we see it's very useful to draw our cast diagram. Okay, our cast diagram and this time w since we're working with a negative angle we will number in the clockwise direction starting with negative 90, negative 180, negative 270 and negative 360. Just keeping in mind that when I number like that, if I go in the clockwise direction, I am subtracting. When I go anti-clockwise, I'm adding. So negative 270 plus B means I'm at 270 plus means I must go anti-clockwise so that I'm in the second quadrant. So in which quadrant does this angle lie? In quadrant 2. For angles in this quadrant, the output of the cosine function is, okay, so in this quadrant we see that only sine is positive which means all the other uh, ratios will be negative cosine therefore will be negative so it will be negative next what is the co-ratio for cosine now we can see uh, cosine is the co-ratio for sine and so is sine for cosine so it is sine Finally, we have to simplify the ratio so that the interior angle is simple, acute, and positive. We should actually say there and made with the x-axis. Okay, and made with the x-axis. Okay, and that means that inside here, the negative 270 is made with the y-axis, so we know we use co-ratios, so this becomes sine of beta, with one exception that cos was negative in that second quadrant. It doesn't matter whether sine is positive or negative, cos is negative, and therefore we have to make it a negative. And that's it.